Hello everyone, today we will be talking about acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS. Now, with acute respiratory distress syndrome, what occurs is that there is a fluid buildup in the tiny elastic air sacs uh, in the lungs which we call alveoli, okay, and what occurs is that the fluid will keep the lungs from filling with enough air which means less oxygen reaches the bloodstream and in turn this can deprive the organs of the oxygen that it needs, right, to function. Now. Understand that ARDS, ARDS typically occurs in people who are already critically ill or have a significant injury, okay? So let's try to look at the, the symptoms of this. Now, the signs and symptoms of ARDS can vary in intensity and basically depends on the, the cost and severity, okay? So the patient would be hypoxic and would show signs of uh, SOB or severe shortness of breath, okay? Um, there would also be labored and rapid breathing, and there would be presence of crackles or ronchi when we assess the patient. Um, also, the patient would have a low blood pressure and can somewhat be lethargic and confused. Okay, now let's look at a few of the complications with ARDS. Now, if you have ARDS, you can develop other medical problems while in the hospital, and these problems can include blood clots, right? Because um, and understand that blood clots is very dangerous because it can lead to a pulmonary embolism, which is deadly. Also, there can be a, a problem. Another problem could be a collapsed lung, or we call what we call a pneumothorax. Um, therefore, in most ARDS um, cases, a ventilator is used to help with the oxygenation. And lastly, infections can also occur because the ventilator is attached directly to a tube inserted in the windpipe and germs can get in and infect the lungs um, uh, within this, within this uh, tube. Now, for, in regard to diagnosis, there is really no specific test to identify ARDS. Um, the diagnosis is based on the physical exam, the chest, x-ray, and various oxygen levels, okay? Now, diagnosed through the x-ray, you would uh, you would see a ground glass appearance within the lungs and this is due to the the fluid buildup um, around the lungs okay the patient can also have a non cardiogenic pulmonary edema and obviously this is due to the excess fluid in the lungs okay now the lab test will usually show a decrease in the overall oxygenation level um, throughout the body okay now let's go to treatments. The first goal in treating <clears throat> our patient with ARDS is to imp obviously to improve the levels of oxygenation in the blood. So because without oxygen, obviously the organs can't function properly. So there are various ways that we can give supplemental oxygen and that includes mechanical ventilation. Now the mechanical ventilator basically pushes air into the lungs and forces some of the fluid out of the air sacs, okay? And the most common mainly more common mechanical ventilation um, would include PEEP, or what we call positive and expiratory pressure. And basically it's a method of ventilation in which the airway pressure is maintained above the atmospheric pressure, okay? And another method is CPAP, or a continuous positive airway pressure. Now with CPAP, it basically applies mild air pressure on a continuous basis to keep the airway uh, continuously open, okay? Now that's it for now. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, this this one is just a quick review on uh, ARDS. And um, I wish you the best with your NCLEX exam. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank